Good morning. I just woke up about 15 minutes ago. The first thing that I'm going to do with my day is pay my internet bill. Now since I'm a weirdo who has two different routers and two different accounts on this address, this could take anywhere from five minutes to a half an hour. Please only take five minutes. There's more than one account associated with that number. To hear your account balance or make a payment, press 1. For questions, let me transfer you to a customer care representative for assistance. There we go. Because they have business and residential internet, they have a business and residential side of the phone line. So I just dealt with the business end, paid the business bill, and now I have to go to the residential end to try to pay the residential bill. Is there anything else? Nope, that's it. Have a great day, Mr. Thanks for calling. You too. Thank you so much. It's Reamer, but she didn't know. It's okay. How long did that take? 15 minutes. Not bad. When you're calling an internet provider, that shit can take forever sometimes. It's just better to do it right when you wake up so that you don't forget about it, especially since my bill was due tomorrow. This piece of paper says I owed $547. I only had to pay $260, and I do not remember ever paying the first few months of my internet bill here. I don't, uh, uh, I don't fucking care. Free internet. Count me in. They just changed from Bright House to Spectrum, and, uh, it seems that they lost a few months of my internet bill in the process, and I'm okay with that. On this piece of paper, it said I had a previous balance of $260, and I was trying to pay that previous balance, but nowhere could they find it. So I just had to pay for the business internet that I didn't need, and then I had to pay for the new routers that I just got. I didn't have to pay for the first three months of my internet. What the fuck? Bright House, don't sue. Free internet is the best kind of internet. The moment when you realize the entire time you've been talking, this stupid fucking AC unit's probably been in the background too. It's the thing about having a microphone that is this good, it picks up fucking everything. You're so fucking cute. I honestly can't handle it sometimes. Hey, don't get jealous. Oh shit. Oh shit. I'll play tug of war with my feet. And then pet the kitty. And then hold the camera. Everybody wins. Ow! My fucking hip just popped. Oh, that didn't feel good at all. Chill, bro. Chill, chill. Don't run, cat. It just makes it worse. Up, he ran. Oh, you get mad. Mm -hmm. Yo, guys, check out our Christmas tree. It doesn't have lights yet. <laughs> Since I'm not gonna get Alicia a Christmas tree because we're not gonna be here for Christmas, she is completely dedicated to turning the cat tower into a Christmas tree. <laughs> That's all I have. She's making us get lights for it too. You enjoying the day, kitty? Very much so. Hey. Oh, he was like biting me earlier. I didn't. Like and then he started biting me in the kitchen too. He's in a good mood, but he shows love with pain. It's called domestic abuse. Uh, ow, ow, hey, fuck you, dude. Chill, just trying to scratch you. I mean you no harm. What do you want me to scratch, up here? Oh, no, that's a spot, right on the, right on the end. But what he really wants is this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I told you, I told you. <laughs> this cat. Oh, I... Riley. No, he got his fucking claw stuck in her head. Don't smack the doggy. I need to trim his claws right now. That was almost bad since you just almost clawed the dog's eye out. Ch really, you're gonna... Get out of here, dude. You're gonna get smacked again since you almost clawed the dog's eye out. You'll get a short brush and trim your claws, too. You're, dude, you're about to fucking fall. Chill. Hey man, I just got trim your nails real quick. Don't worry about it. Just shut the fuck up. Bro, your nails are razors. Piss off, mate. Normally you are such a good kitty, and that's why I wanted to record this so everyone could see how great you are. Alright, the, the dog doesn't help. Get the fuck out of here. Did you take my sock again? Do you want to fucking die by this sock? There you go. All done. Good kitty. What was all that fuss about, huh? I highly suggest you do not run away from the dog. Riley, no. Probably could have done something about that, but I figured fuck it for the vlog, right? You're an asshole. 
You're an asshole. When Alicia is finished getting ready, then we're gonna go do some shit. Now that we're gonna go to a few places, but I do not know which one we are going to first. Yo, guys, check out my whip. Yeah, boy. Fees up. I got a fucking sweet ride. Nah, this is just the car that I bought while I was in Colorado. It gets me where I need to go, and that's all I need. For whatever reason, Alicia felt the need to redo this painting. Like, look at how awesome it's here. But I mean, wow. She is just so good. That is so cool. She fucking painted this in like three hours. It's so good. I'm giving that to my mom and dad for Christmas. And then I'm gonna keep this one because there's no way I would throw away something like this. She's an artiste. Riley, do you want a treat? <laughs> Sweet. In the cage. You are such a good girl. Come on, you know you gotta go in there. Get in the cage. Good girl. Never had a problem with this dog in cages. Did you give her two? I, I'm, I'm working on it. Good girls always get two. Good girls always get two treats. I am a... I spoil you, but it's... They're blueberry treats. It's good worth it. Her. It's worth it. She's such a good dog. Yes, we will be right back, puppy. I love you. I fucking hate leaving this dog here alone. I feel safe because... Yeah. I'll get a phone call if anybody comes in the house. And or if just anyone touches the house. I love you, puppy. I'll be back. I'll be back soon. Alright, so we're going to this place called Jones first. It's like this fabric. Joanne's. Joanne's. It's like this fabric craft store. It's for Alicia. It's like Hobby Lobby times one. Right, I'm explaining it for the fans. She needs to get some, some more stuff for Christmas presents for her friends. Then we're gonna get her Lowe's for some Christmas lights, and then we're gonna go to the beach. I got a fucking plan. Let's execute this shit. We made it to the Jones place. I don't need anything here, but I'm here. I need this. Go get things. We're not even in the right aisle. I feel like putting this in a box. If only I was artsy, then I would actually be able to do things. Exactly, so that's why I'm here. Grandma, are you in this aisle? I feel like she's totally back here. Wait, my grandma isn't even here. I lost Alicia. It's all over. Oh no. All I see is fabric. It's fabric. Where'd she go? She has short legs. How did she get this far away from me? Is this music copyright? Am I gonna get a strike? I'm gonna get away from- Oh, there she is. You know, any fans in the area? You guys should send this to the face house. These are the aisles that I get fucked over in. They're 50% off and they're all things that look good. Like, I would totally buy that and that's the problem. I can paint those though. No. No. We will not buy any of this. We are here on a mission for cheap thing. My poor debit card's been through enough. Christmas is ruthless. We're here for tiny little jars. Just gonna fill them with sand for her friends. And decorate them. Yes. So that my beaches have beaches. <laughs> my beaches have beaches. <laughs> Isn't that cute? You just referred to your friends as beaches. That can, that can be offensive. We've already been here for too long. Right, we adopted a new pet. We see it came here for fur some twine and jars and we got it well the original plan was to go to lowe's after we got her fabric stuff but that plan got fucked up by chick-fil-a and starbucks because it's christmas time and everybody's at the fucking mall so we're gonna go to the beach now then we're gonna go to lowe's and then it's gonna be dark and now this video is going up at like 10 p.m Got a disarm the half. Think I heard a beep. Hi! Hello! You're home! I told you we'd be back. Hello! You're the cat. told you we'd be back. Come on, let's go be good girl. Then I'm gonna talk about how I almost crashed. Yeah. Did you go pee pee? Yeah! Hi, puppy! Hello! 
doing? So about that fucking drive home. You know when you're sitting at a traffic light and you have a choice between going straight, turning right, or turning left? At this specific traffic light, there was two lanes to go straight in. So I was in the left lane. I'm going the speed limit, doing as I do. Then all of a sudden the lane is a turn lane and there's a fucking concrete median in front of me. I had to slam on my brakes. No indication, hey, this lane's gonna end in set amount of feet. Don't go straight in this lane. No fucking warnings. I just had a really bad feeling. I saw like just a little bit of paint on the ground that looked like a turn sign. I fucking slammed on my brakes and I was so close to smashing into the concrete median. No fucking warnings at the traffic light. No signs. No nothing. Just me almost destroying my fucking car on the way. Home. Oh, you know, not to mention the two or three people before that that either pulled out in front of us or were going too slow or, you know, just random people trying to cause so accidents many people, on daily. So many people tried to kill us today. It was stupid. And that, <laughs> and then I almost fucked it. I was honestly really upset about that, not gonna lie, because there's just no signs, no nothing. It's just a left lane and a right lane. There's no merge. There's literally nothing that says merge into the right lane. You're gonna fucking crash. Ooh, never going in that lane again. Either way, I had a really good day. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a thumbs up to let me know. You know I would appreciate that very much. And as always, my friends, I hope you all have yourselves a fantastic day. A farewell, a goodbye, and here comes that motherfucking... Woo!